preparation mode for next year's total solar eclipse. With less than six months to go, Yell County officials passed an ordinance to ensure safety for those planning to be there. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham went to Yell County today and joins us with more on what this ordinance does. Ashley. Yeah, this small rural community is right in the middle of the path of the solar eclipse that's coming in April, and they expect a lot of people to flow in and want to do what they can now to prepare. A solar eclipse is projected to pass over Arkansas, an event that will last only minutes expected to bring in thousands. Yale County is one area in the path. The quorum court passed an ordinance Tuesday evening with the intent of providing safety for residents and visitors. Three to four times the number of people of Yale County will be here. And if that's the case, our emergency response personnel will be inundated. In the ordinance, Yale County Judge Jeff Gilkey says those that are establishing a village, meaning 10 or more people in a single area, need to apply for a permit. Map out their locations for emergency response, add wide enough roads so we can get emergency vehicles through the area, have some sanitary issues, helipads, so in case we couldn't transport somebody off property, we'd have a way to land emergency response. Gilkey says all Yale County emergency rescue teams, including fire and water rescue, are volunteer. This gives them an idea on where they need to place first responders. Area like Ailey, Arkansas, it's in the southern portion of Yale County, it's 45 minutes away from an ambulance. And if they decide to put in a thousand campsites, they become the third largest community in Yale County. And if that's the case, we need to move our assets accordingly to help manage any response. In a normal situation, he says they would have help from surrounding counties with larger resources. But with everyone in the area dealing with large crowds, this time will be different. And that's not the case here. We're, we're gonna have to take and handle everything on our own without any assistance. And we're doing the best we can to plan accordingly. Now they ask that a permit be submitted and filled out at least 90 days before April 8th, which gives them time to map out where they need to put emergency personnel. In Yale County, on your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham. It Ashley, thanks a lot. And permits can be submitted to the County Emergency Management Office or through a link that's expected to be set up soon on the Yale County website.